welcome guys in this video we are going to discuss conservation of probability and probability current density and at the end of this video we will discuss little bit about stationary state in this video going to be little bit mathematical we are mostly going to mathematical structure of quantum mechanics and in the future videos we also learn more and more mathematical tool necessary to deal with quantum mechanical problem so let's start we know that according to the probability interpretation of normalized wave function basically this equation which simply says that the particle is co to be found somewhere in the space like we know psi star psi gives us the probability density of finding the particle if you take total probability it came out to be one but just if we multiply psi star psi volume and take integration in a certain region of space it will give you like say certain region of space means some 0 to say some v prime it will give you some probability of the particle finding within that volume so this statement has to be true at all the time so long as the particle is a stable one which cannot decay or disappear in some other way so until and unless particle disappear or decay this that our probabilistic description have to be true every time thus we can say the total probability must be conserved and that is psi star psi must be independent of time that means del del t of psi star psi dv have to be zero or another way we can say that our psi star psi is nothing but probability density so we are going to prove that so let's see the proof first so let that our psi star psi is rho of rt this is nothing but probability density now rate of change of probability density here rho db is giving giving us the total probability within the volume so that will be like instead of rho we are putting psi star psi db now after doing the derivative del psi star dt psi just chain rule of derivative now we have to find this del psi del t and del psi star del t now from Schrodinger equation we will collect the value of del psi del t and del psi star del t and put back in this equation 1 so this is our Schrodinger time dependent equation so just a little bit rearrangement we can get del psi del t is equal to 1 by ih cut into minus h cut square by 2m del square psi plus v psi mm. let is mark as equation 2 similarly if we take just complex conjugate of equation 2 we will get del psi star dt now we can put this equation 2 and 1 into back in back in our equation one our final goal as we already discussed that we have to show that del psi del t rho dv or sorry del del t of rho dv or del del t of psi star psi dv have to be zero if total probability is conserved so now let us put back equation 2 and 3 in equation 1 we are getting this equation which is replacing this is our psi star this, sorry this is our del psi star dt and this is our del psi del t so we can very easily see this term v psi psi star v psi star psi this two term just cut we are left with this two term where I take common minus i h cut by 2m 
Pambul Gishta. Now we can write it using just simply a vector calculus rule the divergence of psi radiant of sorry divergence of this quantity this in this quantity we have psi gradient of psi star minus psi star gradient of psi so here psi is scalar quantity no problem now we are we are writing this entire term like i h cut by 2m psi del psi star minus psi star del psi as a j so our equation become our this equation that means sorry our equation one that means become the del del t of rho db equal to minus integration of divergence of g both integration are volume integral here so we can easily write del rho del t plus divergence of j dv equal to 0 now this volume dv is arbitrary volume we consider it is arbitrary so we can write this equation as del rho del t plus divergence of j equal to 0 so we need we want to extract information from this equation 4 so before going to that let us see some other thing we already know we already notice similar kind of equation like we, we are seeing in equation 4 in electricity as well as in fluid dynamics let's take the example of electricity the charge create so this is a volume v enclosed by a surface so charge created in this volume in a given time is equal to charge flowing out and divided by time and this is nothing but the conservation of charge that is intuitive idea so from there we can write so this is the amount of charge created inside the volume v where rho is charge density and this is the amount of charge which is flowing out from that volume from that volume in every direction in every direction charge is coming out so so we can this coming out flow can be represented as a current so we are representing this current i as a current density j so current current is represented by current density into so like this formal definition of current current is equal to current the current density is current per unit area now instead of surface let us convert the surface integral into volume integral using Gauss divergence theorem so instead of j we are writing divergence of j into dv before like we are writing this equation as we are just taking this term that side so again this volume dv is arbitrary so we can write rho diver sorry del rho del t plus divergence of j is equal to 0 so this equation 5 we establish it from conservation of charge and equation 5 is called charge continuity equation or continuity equation of charge similarly the equation 4 we can call it probability continuity equation and this the similar comparison from similar comp we can say that that equation 4 arises from the conservation of probability where j is probability current density so now we are giving a name to j and j is given by i h cut by 2m psi del psi star minus psi star del psi now came to one important thing that let me write that our equation 4 in a different manner so let us 
सो नाउ टेक इंट्री टेक इंट्रीगेशन ऑल ओवर द स्पेस सो एक्चुअली वी आर गोइंग बैक टू आवर जस्ट प्रिवियस स्टेट वी आर टेकिंग इंट्रीगेशन बोथ साइड एंड जस्ट रिप्लेस दिस डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ जे टर्म यूजिंग गॉज डाइवर्जेंस थियोरी मीन इन सार्फेस इंस्टेड वी आर रिप्लेसिंग दिस वॉल्यूम इंट्रीगल बाई आर सार्फेस इंट्रीगल सो एगेन लाइक using gauge divergence theorem we replace our volume integral by surface integral here n cap is unit outward normal of the surface s which enclose the volume v total volume v now let came to the important point so is this thing nothing but our vector calculus The volume integral in equation six is over all the space. The surface S is infinity, where the normalization wave function psi and del divergence of psi vanishes. So one thing here that we taking we take the integral volume V is all over the space. That means the surface become infinite. सरि दाइन उ टेकिंग द भल्यूम सरि वेन उ टेकिंग द इंट्रीगेशन अल ओवर द स्पेस दि सार्फेस रिच एट इनफिनिटी दैट मीस वेन आर टेन्स टू इनफिनिटी एट दैट पॉइंट एक्चुअली देर इज अ सार्फेस द सार्फेस एक्जिस्ट देर एट फ्रम द सेंटर एट अ भेरि लार्ज डिस्टेंस द सार्फेस एक्जिस्ट सो इफ आवर वेब फांगशन आर नर्मलाइज एंड वेब वेल बी एड उ नो That are large distances when r tends to infinity, both psi and del psi must vanishes, which implies that j also vanishes because j is consists of psi del psi star psi star del psi. So as both the del psi and psi vanishes, j will also vanish. Then we can write, we can say the del del t of Rho d b will also be zero. So that gives us actually the conservation of total probability. That means we can say the conservation of total probability is satisfied. Now came to now let's extract some information from the. Probability continuity equation. That means our equation number four. So the interpretation of probability, interpretation of the probability psi star psi as a probability density leads therefore to the concept of probability current. So this equation four representing that for J is probability current density and J is the continuity equation for this probability current. This equation four actually assert that there is no creation or destruction of probability. Any increase or decrease in the probability for finding the particle in a given volume element is compensated by a corresponding decrease or increase elsewhere through an inflow or outflow of probability across the boundaries of the volume element. The decrease of probability arises, of course. Because of the change of psi with time, so in simple we can say that this is our total space, say entire universe V. Now within this volume V prime, if the probability of the finding the particle in decreases, then elsewhere, say in volume V double prime, it increases, like that. so there is a conservation of probability so that's th this thing basically represented or given by the probability current density equation now we can easily see basically in the next video we will prove little some we will see some problem and some little little proof 
the if our web function is real we we will notice j probability current density will be zero also we can represent probability current density by these two equation one is j is equal to h cut by m real part of i psi divergence of psi another is minus h cut by m imaginary part of psi del saster one thing i think i missed no okay. and let me introduce little bit about stationary state in future we are going to discuss stationary state and superposition of state in a single video but for now let us see a very basic introduction about stationary state so i think i missed uh, something there will be a size star sorry for that now for any state we will notice some state for which that divergence of j become zero so for those state we can say that rho is constant that means total prob probability density is constant because del rho del t is minus divergence of j so if divergence of j become zero del rho del t is a constant which implies sorry del rho del t is zero which implies rho is some constant so we call such state stationary state so most important situation arises for state of fixed energy for which the time dependence of wave function is given by some space dependent part into e to the power minus i e t by h cut so in case of those wave function who can who, those are represented by this configuration that a separable space part with multiplied by i e t by h cut this kind of a wave function basically a stationary state will greatly discuss about them in future but take home message from here is wave function for those divergence of j is zero they are basically stationary state so i am giving two example like this is actually a ground state for hydrogen atom wave function for ground state of hydrogen atom and this is a wave function for particle in a box both are stationary state and both for them and for both of them the divergence of j is equal to zero in the next video we will see some problem about probability current density we will prove this two formula and let me find them this two formula we also prove this theorem also so enough for this video thanks for watching if you like it please share subscribe thank you